now let us discuss about closure properties of context free languages context free languages are closed under three properties and not closed under two properties context free languages are closed under union concatenation and clean closure whereas context free languages are not closed under intersection and complementation so let's see the first point context free languages are closed under union let uh, l1 and l2 are two context free languages l1 is one context free language l2 is another context free language then l1 union l2 is also a context free language so that's why we can say that context free language is closed under union context free languages are closed under union if l1 and l2 are two context free languages then union of l1 and l2 that is l1 union l2 is also a context free language so let us see with the help of an example uh, let l1 let this language is a power n such that n is greater than or equal to 0 where uh, whereas the second language is b power n such that n greater than or equal to 0 let us write the language here the language is uh, here n greater than or equal to 0 so 0 number of uh, uh, n value starts from 0 so 0 number of a's means epsilon next a power 1 1 a next to 2 a likewise we can have any number of a's whereas for l2 the language is uh, 0 number of b's means epsilon 1 b next to 2 b 3 b's likewise any number of b's so here the new language is let, it, let this is L1, let this is L2. The new language is formed by L1 union L2. Then L3 will become epsilon comma A comma double A comma so on B comma double B comma so on. So let us generate some starting symbols also. For this grammar the productions are S1 implies here zero number of a's means epsilon next single a after a we can have any number of a's so for generating that we can write this s1 implies epsilon means zero number of a's next one a means a in place of s1 we can write epsilon one a next two a's means a in place of s1 we can write a s1 likewise it will be generated so here the productions are s2 implies b s2 R O epsilon or epsilon so for the uh, for the new language so we can write the starting symbol as either s1 or s2 so we can say that this l1 union l2 is also a context free language why because l1 union l2 may contain either l1 strings or l2 strings union operation means or operation so either l1 strings or l2 strings are present in l3 so this so we can say that context free language is closed under union why because if l1 and l2 are context free languages then we can say that l1 union l2 is also a context free language so l1 union l2 may contain either l1 strings or l2 strings if l1 generates a string so that string is present in l3 so likewise if l3 generates a string the string is present in l3 if l2 generates a string the string is present in l3 so likewise we can say that uh, what is the second property concatenation if l1 and l2 are two context free languages then we can say that l1 dot l2 what is the second property concatenation let n1 and l2 are two context free languages then we can say that l1 concatenation concatenation means dot symbol l1 dot l2 is also a context free language let us take the same example l1 is equal to a power n such that n greater than or equal to 0 so the language is epsilon a double a whereas the productions are s1 implies a s1 or uh, epsilon 
similar to L1, we have L2 productions. So we can say that L3 is obtained by L1 dot L2. So L3 contains the strings followed by L2, followed by L2. So L3 contains L1 strings as well as L2 strings. So we can say that here the starting symbol, uh, this language starting symbol is obtained by combining S1 and S2. So here S1 is nothing but L1 language, S2 is nothing but second language uh, uh, productions, second language productions. So we can say that here this language contains, here concatenation means combination. This new language contains the combination of uh, uh, L1 strings followed by L2 strings. Okay, So we can say that uh, if L1 and L2 are two context tree languages, then L1 dot L2 is also a context tree language. And the third property is clean closure. If L is a context free language, then we can say that L star is also a context free language. L star is also a context free language. Let L is equal to A. Let it contains A. Then L star is equal to any number of A's means 0, number of A's means epsilon, next to 1A, next to 2A. Likewise, we will get any number of A's. If we complement this language also, we will get the same strings. Epsilon, A star means what? Any number of A's. We will get the same strings. So we can say that if L is a context free language, then L star is also a context free language. So likewise, we can say that context free languages are not closed under intersection. Intersection means what? Common elements. Uh, if L1, if L1 is a context free language, L2 is a context free language then we can say that L1 intersection L2 is not a context-free language. It doesn't produce as the context-free language. Likewise, if L1 and L2 are two context-free languages, then L1, uh, L1 dash, L2 dash doesn't produce as context-free languages. Okay. So we can say that context-free languages are closed under union, concatenation and clean closure. Various context-free languages are not closed under intersection and complementation.